really cool transitions actually. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Right. Hey, what's up, guys? Chris Cohen here, and today we're gonna reacting to the new Valorant music video that came out. Now, I'm a big fan of Valorant, especially. I've even done kind of like a Chambers themed Instagram film post because I really love his design, and of course, most of the music from Valorant just freaking hits. You know, uh, my favorite I would say is Die For You when the beat hits. Oh, it's a sick. So, super excited to check out the new music video cinematic. Now, before we get started, guys, if you into film stuff as much as I am, check out my Gorilla Filmmaking Program, where I teach you all of my secrets, my unique techniques, and creative filming solutions that I've come up with to create sick stuff in the Gorilla Filmmaker way, whether you and some of your friends want to come together and create some super cool stuff from films, or you want to take this seriously and become a filmmaker yourself, then this is the program for you. Link in the description, 15% off, check the code below, and see if it's something you want to get into, and become part of my crew. And with that said, let's fire up YouTube and check out the cinematic. YouTube, full screen, and one, two, three. The Vanilla Enchantress Tour. <laughs> I have one of those. Oh, okay. This is like the becoming the gamer in Valorant and taking part of the games. Yeah. So now he is the character. Nice. Some sick transitions, actually. Really cool transitions, actually. That's pretty sick. Nice. Nice. So it's basically how the story of how he's gonna end up in like the tournament. Everyone's getting jobs. <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't know why, but the, I keep the big leaks now. Oh, his friends are there. It's pretty cool. Taking away. Let's go. One more. Nice. Boom! Dedicated to the Nishcape's place. <laughs> Let me see that actually. 
Okay, play dates and heartaches. Oh, that's pretty sick. I actually love the signature as well. Okay, um, hmm. This is kind of like a different music video because it's obviously, let's see, Valorant Champions 2023 anthem. Yeah, right. So this is for the Champions tournament, basically. So it makes sense that it's heavily focused on like the gamer and how the gamer through the comp computer, whatever end means is, gets transported to become a control the character within the tournaments and so forth and play matches after matches, trying to improve the skills and kind of like make it to the big leagues bears, uh, basically which is very interesting because it's kind of like the classic you know you really have to work hard uh to become bypass everyone else basically and become like quite up in your field which is pretty cool and it also reminded me i really want to go this week uh and check out the gran turismo movie uh that's on out in the cinemas not just from a filmmaker perspective just I noticed myself like I've been playing Crown Turismo since like PlayStation 1 days. Uh, but hearing that the story in the movie is from a true story of a gamer that was playing Crown Turismo, it became so good that uh, the Nissan race team kind of like invited him and others to kind of like feel the real thing. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the song itself, maybe I have to listen to it a, a few more times, but it didn't hit me as much as the other ones, like uh, Die Again or like uh, Fire, uh, because it, it, the beat was not there, you know, that kind of like Valorant, uh, but it was a really cool song, and I think they did great in regards to like how they chose to transition between like the gamer scenes and like in the game scenes, there were some very creative transitions where the uh, gamers in real life, they would do certain moves and then that move will get replicated, whether it was on the battlefield or doing something. Uh, that was really cool. Basically, let me guys know what you thought down in the comment section below. If this kind of like music from Valorant is one of your favorites or what your favorites are, uh, and let's go back after we hit like, like the cinematic as well, guys, it always helps. And subscribe if you haven't, because we need to hit 300k very soon. So, I'll hit zero, go back to the start and kind of like go through the cinematic again and just talk some cool film stuff that I think are interesting. Now, this is not so much like a 3D animation, it's more of like the... This actually wobbles. Maybe it annoys me. Um, it's more of kind of like an animation drone style cinematic, so there's not much to take from, but I do want to talk about some cool transition effects and some film effects that they've put in. So, we start off with the logo, classic, of the titles. And then we flash back. So it's cool because it basically it shows you the progression uh, since he was a kid and then as they grow up he kept playing after one of his friends introduced him but uh, his other friends kind of like you know went to do their own thing one was like a basketball player the other guy was doing like car stuff and things like this but he just kept playing until he found his team so we start all the way to the back with our bicycles kind of thing and the beat, so every time the beat hits hard is a great way to transition to a different scene. Yeah, they play basketball, it just takes you from like several moments of his life. And it's cool that it has, you know, this is kind of like a reflective shot. Usually when it comes to filmmaking, you have underlying themes uh, throughout a storyline. And here you can see that when he was a kid and kind of like fell down, one of his friends offered his hand to help him up. And then at the end, uh, within the game and the game characters, when he basically did the thing to win the game, uh, the rest of the ca game characters do the same. And it's kind of like a metaphorical thing that it's time to come with us, you know, join us, go to the next thing, it's cool. Don't know, don't know 
a lot of moments going through them, and this is where he gets introduced to the game. And he's like, straight when the beat drops and kind of like the first chorus is like, boom, we're in the game. See, this is what I mean. Such clever use of like in game to real life transitions. Like, for example, the basketball ball becomes the. What is this? Bullet? Whatever. You get what I'm saying, basically. This is a really cool way to connect the two more organically than kind of just having a cut. A cut would work as well, but this is. It's just so much more creative and way more fun and the immersion is not missed because we just had a hard cut to a different location, a different event, a different kind of like world. So we have the ball, the water, the pencil, boom. Really cool man, really cool stuff. Yeah, and basically like that, the story progresses. You know, they play together, they kind of move. Each one of them goes to their own thing until he finds himself with a new team at the end. But his friends are still there at the end, which is really cool. And here, another cool thing is, usually when you have like flashbacks, you can use exactly what they did here, which is like light bleaks and lens flares to transition to the other shot between the two shots. But also, if you guys notice, you need to really put your eyes in it, but they use a lot of like film noise uh, filter on top, and usually film noise can be used for a lot of things. I basically apply it to everything. I just, I just love the look, and it helps with the whole like film look aesthetic. Um, but here, it's used even more to just give you like a memory kind of thing. Let's go, boom. Again, the course hits, the final one, we're in the game, and we just boom, 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 go back and forth. With the support of his friends. One more. Sick. That's it, guys, for this episode. Let me guys know what you thought down in the comment section below, as always. And I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, stay awesome and creative.